another Randy professor is facing the music over misdeeds on campus. The Independent Corrupt Practices and Other Related Offenses Commission, ICPC, has filed a criminal charge against the suspended dean of Faculty of Law at the University of Calabar, Professor Cyril Dauphin. After conclusion of investigation, the ICPC is arraigning the lecturer on a four-count charge bordering on sexual harassment, official corruption, and abuse of office, contrary to Section 8, Section 18, and Section 19 of the Corrupt Practices and Other Related Offenses Act 2000. Randy Professor. <laughs> Nika. Alleged. Okay. Alleged. Uh, yes. It's still, it's still innocent. Alleged. Until, yes. That's what we thought. Mm. So Until proven it's guilty. It's alleged. Yes, alleged. Uh, okay. So the fact remains is that um, AY is just uh, quite unfortunate that this is happening. But it's not new. This man is just unfortunate that he was the one that this is going on in all universities in Nigeria. It has become part of our system. I just graduated from a university just two years ago, last year or so. And I was in the system for four years. And you I have saw, universities? Yes. Private are, what are you saying? Private and public. And if you see the level of intimidation, the students are also not helping matters. Some of them are so lazy because if you're a brilliant student and you sit down to work and you read, no matter the level of intimidation that any... There have been instances in my class that somebody just say, oh, ah, no, this is not what I'm supposed to get. He said, I'm going to write. And he went on to write, and he find out that, yes, oh, he could have done better than the rest of them. Now, talking about this, profe this professor, this is not his first time from what we had. It's just that the, the student finally took the bull by the horn. Now, they were protesting that this professor have done this and that. This man was invited by the panel to come and exonerate himself. He refused to appear. He did. He went on on the voyage of trying to... Now, he even went and said that, at a point he said he was kidnapped. Meanwhile, he was not kidnapped. He was invited by security agencies to come and clear his name. The DSS had to now do a sting operation to arrest him. But where I got a bit uh, worried was when a minister, a particular minister under this administration, was trying to intimidate the students and the lecturers at the University of Calabar and saying all sorts of things to be able to intimidate them. But good enough, she, yeah, there was a viral video which she, she did, but uh, I think good sense, uh, common sense was able to prevail. The fact remains that it's not just I, only ICPC that should be looking into this matter. You are looking at corruption. If the fact remains that he, as alleged, was involved in that, I don't think it should only be an ICPC issue. It, we should go for that because this man is taking his privilege of not to, he was not a lecturer. Let us establish that. He was not just a lecturer. He was the dean of the faculty of law and is a professor of law. So he knows what he's doing. So, but let us also continue to leave it at the realm of allegation. But this should be investigated. And that's why I like some certain institutions. You heard what happened. You've seen what happened in uh, Obafemi Awolowo University. That's one, one university after my heart. That institution, over and over again, has proven the fact that if any kind of allegation of sexual harassment, intimidation was brought against you. You will be investigated. And there's a current, there's a professor that is currently uh, in jail. I don't from OAU, or, I think it's OAU, that is in jail. So this should be a, a marking point, a turning point for our lecturers who have seen that the university is just an opportunity for them to take advantage of the dread. I cannot send my daughter to school to go and read, and I'm paying as much as I'm paying, suffering every day. And one uni uh, university lecturer is just uh, thinking that he, uh, having my daughter is a free benefit. It's part of his uh, moratorium. No, 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 it cannot happen. So I thank the authorities of the University of Calabar, and I hope that other universities, in the, some private universities, the fact that there is even an allegation is enough for them to sack you. I know certain universities, especially the private universities, that is an allegation alone. Before they even start investigating you, you'll be, you'll be asked to just step aside. So um, let's see what ICPC will come up with this, and let's see what will happen. But that is, it still remains within the realms of allegation, and until it's proven, the man still uh, is seen as being innocent. That's what Asiki said earlier. <laughs> a lot of uh, students, they are victims of this um, lecturers, and they intimidate them, they harass them.
and they feel then that if they don't play ball. Yes, it's, um, it's commonplace. And I'm sure of, um, CKN will also recollect that another le a female lecturer said, this man inflicted the same on two of her daughters. On the daughter, yes, of course. Two. That's, yes. So it, so it's it's really a very bad situation. And in which you even have audio recording and all the rest. So it's um, it's bad enough that the, even the man was invited, he did not know the invitation, that he had to be arrested. A whole team like, of faculty. Yes, a whole team of faculty. Because if you have nothing to hide, I mean, it's just to go there and state your own side of the case. and. Perhaps you are released on um, bail, and then you come to attend to any case if there is one in court. But now he's put himself in a very difficult position. Because like you said, nobody has sent his or her daughter to school to be harassed by anybody. We know that a lot of these students too, they are lazy and looking for the easy way out. They don't want to read, they don't want to do that. But as a lecturer, who is supposed to be a father figure, like Zikian said, he's not just a lecturer, he's a dean. Somebody who should be a father figure. You should be encouraging these students to read. Because that's why you, you have some students who graduate. You see them, they are taking first class certificates around, but they can't do nothing. Because all they did throughout school was to sleep their way through. Sorted. Was to pay their way through for the men. You hear some guys when they are going to school, they buy shirts, they buy ties, they buy shoes to go and give lecturers instead of reading. When you have graduated, nothing is wrong in you taking things to your lecturers. But the moment you are still in school, that amounts to bribery and corruption. Because that's basically what you are doing. Because you are paying, your lecturer is being paid to teach you and not to collect gifts from you in order to ensure you go through school. So I think this will be one of the cases that Nigerian lecturers should learn from. We've had a couple of them. Some have been jailed. Mm. This is still coming up. So it means we are not learning. It happened in Unilag. The, Unilag. the, the one that lectured that I raped. In uh, OAU. OAU. You have them there. So we should get to a point where, as people put in charge of these students, we should be responsible enough and ensure that instead of encouraging them to go this route of paying with their bodies, paying cash, we make them to sit down. We've always said we want to produce the best from our schools. That's why some of us, we're always in support of government-owned institutions at that level, because we believe that they get the best, not even from because a lot of these private institutions are only after the money. Most of them are after the money and not the quality that they put. So if we believe in you as a federal university and this is happening, then it's a disappointment. How do we protect our children, insulate our students from this? Is, um, the university first will have to give an enabling environment for students to be able to participate and report such misbehavior by a lecturer. Without being victimized. Without being victimized. Because the part of the problem is the system. Um, an average, that is one. There's the society itself. Even our society, is the days of it's social media that is bring to the fore mm -hmm. most of the issues of rape and mm -hmm. um, this thing of women. It has been happening in the past. And because of the stigmatization that goes with it, what? most of these ladies keep quiet. They don't want to talk about it. Even the students. As Dr. Riley said, one of the female lecturers in the same university came out to say, uh, she was a professor, I think she's a professor. Yes, yeah, she's a professor, she's a professor too. Professor. From came out to say from that state. Bomb state. Yes, Akwai. And said that this man had um, uh, raped or whatever to my daughters. That, well, has to be proved. But we have to be able to allow this, because most of them feel afraid. They get afraid. Oh, and you know the way they do it. Let me tell you the way most of these lecturers do it. And in this start today, right from when we are, when we are in the university, not just recently. Most often than not, a lecturer that is in the art of talking to you and toasting you and wanting you at, and you refuse and rest of it, most often than not, will not fail you in his course. What they do is that they use their friends because it's like a clique. 
They use their friends. A cartel. Yes, a cartel. They use their friend, who is also your lecturer, to fail you, so that you cannot be linked to him. Yes, they do it. We know what they are doing. Most of them, although some are very, very pragmatic, that they remain that oh, you fail. Me. If you don't do this, you fail. There have been so many. If you, so, the student, the university authorities should be able to give that opportunity to. Now it could also be a unanimous. You don't need to be able to disclose your name. You provide an email and say, okay, if they have anything, send to this email. Just make sure that whatever you are sending is the truth and not the truth. And the authorities should be able to take it. Then that you now you now ask yourself, what is the place of student affairs? In university, we used to have dean of student affairs. I don't know whether so they still. Uh, they used to have to this, without dean of student they affairs. They used to have this of student. What is the but job it's of like the rest of Lagos? They yes. suspended the student union. You see? Student union. Yeah, that is one. Then the, so the next one is also the student union. union. Part of the, the, the those that raised this issue, we are the law students association of this institution. Mm. It was the law students association. Probably because of the nature of you know law students when we when I was in school, we used to have mock, what we call mock trial, just like your normal court. So an average law student is, 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 is bred in a way and manner that even while you're in school studying, you're almost looking at yourself as a lawyer. Fired up. Yes. We have judges <laughs> in our law, law faculty, we use, in law society, we have judges, we have judges, quote unquote, yes. We have judges, we have the chief judge, in my, in my days we had chief judge, we have various judges, judge one, two, just as we have in normal court, judge one, two, three, four, five. Such issues can be brought up. Simulation. Yes, a kind of simulation. And rest of it. But the fact is that the schools must be able to give, and I give it to the, um, the, the vice chancellor of the University of Calabar. She's a woman. Mm -hmm. So, if you understand what I mean, are you? The, she's a woman. So, you can imagine that such issue will be very dear to her. Because I, watch, I was watching on one of the national TV some few weeks back, where she was talking how passionate she is about this issue of intimidation and harassment of female students, and that she's going to do everything humanly possible. But it goes beyond that. Then, thirdly, anyway, we must have enabling laws. We must have enabling laws to be able to look at most of these lecturers in the face and make sure that anyone that is found one, I know that there have been some laws to, to this, but we can be able to start enforcing it and making sure that any lecturer that is caught it, that is doing this surely face the music. Maybe we'll start with uh, Professor Srili in the first it is. But it's just <laughs> unfortunate that before you become a professor in a university, you must have said not less than close to 20, 25 years. Mm. So why will a man just so mess that, so. that out of the window just because of um, what is on that song, a, a, a small guest uh, skirt? That is quite unfortunate. And as I said, let me repeat, <clears throat> it is still alleged until it is proven by the courts.